Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. God sent me here to preach to you today about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today's message is turn on the light. Turn on the light. Now, there is a lot of darkness in this world. And we need the light of God to shine through in this dark, dark world. The wish we live. Right from the beginning, God, with his infinite wisdom, turn on the light. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning, God created heavens and earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Now watch this, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light was good, and God separated the light. Are you selling? It's free, madam. Anything you want is free. Thank you. God bless you. And God separated the light from darkness. And that's wisdom right there. You see, light and darkness have nothing in common. God saw the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. Now, you need to do the same thing in your life. You must separate everything that is you that is dark because light and darkness have nothing in common. Have you ever been in a room that is dark and no windows, that is so dark that you can feel the darkness? What will you do? You will turn on the light, even though you do not understand how the light works. You will not remain in darkness. If you try to figure out how the light works, you will remain in darkness. And so today, you must turn on the light. You see, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness could not comprehend the light. In other words, you can never understand how God works. But if you believe Him, because the Bible never tells us that you have to understand the way God works. God bless you, brother. His ways is different from our ways. His thought is different from our thoughts. And so we must believe. Because the Bible says anyone who believes in him shall not be put to shame. So today, I want you to turn on the light. Because when you turn on the light, Darkness disappears. Darkness disappears when there is light. Jesus Christ said it himself, I am the light of the world. If you have Jesus Christ living in you, you cannot remain in darkness. Because in him, there is no darkness at all. So the Bible says, let the light shine in darkness, and darkness has not overcome it. The Bible also says that this is the judgment the light had come into the world. Now watch it. The people love darkness rather than the light because their words are evil. The people love darkness. Many of you today you love darkness because your words are evil. Because your lifestyle is evil. Because your deeds are evil. Because your ways are evil. If you remain the dark, there's no light in you. How great is that darkness that is in you. And so as a Christian, we cannot love the darkness. And I will love the light. And you must turn on the light. The message is this. Turn on the light. As a Christian, you cannot be an undercover Christian. No way, my dear friend. Your light must shine in this evil world. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 says, 
take no part on fruitfulness works of the darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that is done in speak in this is secret. But when anything else is exposed by the light, it becomes more visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. And therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and let the Christ shine in you. The Bible is telling you today, no more sleepover, no need to push the push button. It is time to wake up and turn on the light and arise from dead, and Christ will shine in you. Jesus Christ is that true light, which gives light to everyone who was coming to the world. John 8, verse 12, Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. You who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have light of life. Again, I will say it. You do not need to understand how the light works. In other words, you cannot remain in darkness. But what you do, if there's no light, you turn on the light that you can see where you're going. Otherwise, you'll be stumbling. Many of you today are storming your ways, trying to figure out how the light works. Rather than just turn on the light, rather than just believe our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the light of the world that shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Light shines into all things. We are there in the Bible to believe. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is the light that came into the world. And when he came into the world, he turned on the light. God bless you, sister. So the Bible says in fact, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 10. He was in the world. Speaking of Jesus Christ, he was in the world. And the world was made through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. How sad, how sad to know that the one who's supposed to set them free from their sin, and yet they did not receive him. Many of you today are walking around. You are celebrating Christmas, and still, and still, you have not received him. And he pressed my heart to say this. Many of you know who Jesus Christ is. Many of you still refusing to accept him as your Lord and as your Savior. The Bible says this, for to all who receive him, hallelujah, who believe in his name. Speaking about Jesus Christ, who believes in him, the Bible says, give him right to be called the Son of God. Who are born not of the flesh, not of the blood, not of the will of man, but of God. In other words, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you move away from your physical bed. Your physical bed is not good enough. In Adam, we all die. When you are born, you are born to sin. You need to cross over with the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dying upon that cross in agony and pain. You need to cross over from your physical bed to spiritual bed. That which is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. Jesus Christ said in the book of John 3, verse 6. And that's why today all who believe in Him are born into the family of God. You can be that one person today, my dear friend. If you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, He will give you the right to be called the Son of God, that you can cry out, Abba, Father, Daddy, Father. That's why I love you so much, my dear friend. This is not religion. God is a father to me. I'm a father to my children. My children call me Daddy. The same way I call God Daddy. There's a relationship there. There's a fellowship there. And there's a friendship there. And when I'm inviting you to Christ, I'm inviting you to know God as your father, because God is a father to everyone, to everyone who believes. 
So you can see, my dear friends, that the light represents is a symbol of holiness, goodness, knowledge, wisdom, grace, and hope, and God's revelation. By contrast, darkness have associated itself with sin, evil, wickedness, and despair. You do not have the partnership with the darkness. In darkness, there is wickedness, there is unrighteousness, there is unholiness. And that's why today, from the beginning, from the get go, God separated the light from the dark. Because darkness and the light have nothing in common. The Bible says, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. That's the reason why you are caught out from the darkness into a marvelous light. And that Jesus Christ that I'm preaching to you today. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 5, this is the message that we have from him and proclaim to you that God is light. I love that so much. I love it. God is light. God is light, my dear friend. And the Bible says in him there is no darkness. Now what is, if we say we have fellowship with him, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. In other words, when you say you are a Christian and you are going to the places that you ought not to go and doing the things that you ought not to do, you are only deceiving yourself. Because I can guarantee you, everything can be polluted, but light shines through everything. There's nothing that light cannot pass through. And Jesus Christ is that light that shines to every man coming into the world. All you have to do is to receive him today into your heart as your Lord and as your Savior. And he will move you from darkness to a marvelous light that I'm preaching to you today. The message is what? Turn on the light. Turn on the light because you are very clever. If you are in the dark room, you turn on the light. The same way God is telling you today, to turn on the light of God in your life, move away from your evil ways of life and come that you may have a Christian life I'm preaching to you today. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. I love this so much. You are the light of the world, Jesus Christ said. Not somebody else, you. My dear friend, you. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill. You don't have to be good to come to God. You come as you are. Yeah, you come as you are, you change you. Otherwise, otherwise, you remain where you are. So we will come to Him, He changes us, and the light will shine through in our life. We can, we cannot be good to God. We can come to Him. We try. Not everything. All you have to do is according to the Lord. Your passion can be different. Your, your prayers can be different. You have to do believing. If you believe in other things have taken place. Your friends have taken because you have to be careful. So you have to believe. That's good. Once you believe in it, that's good. Many people walking around here. Christ is the Son of God, the Bible says, the one became flesh and the word among us. John, John himself was testifying. Remember, they were asked, the Pharisees and the Sadducees asked John the Baptist, Who are you? John did not deny it. He said it to them, I am the one crying out in the wilderness to take away from the land. Yeah, yeah, nobody. Obviously, 
nobody can take the light of God, you know. But even now, just Christ came to say you are. In other words, every one of us here will be alright to Christ just Christ. We are the light of God. Because somebody else, definitely, we are the light of the world. God bless you. Is that why you did it? Yes, God bless you. I remember you here. Yes. So, so you are the light of the world. The Bible says, "Not so much." Yeah, you are the light of the world. Yeah. If you have anything to say, say. Everyone that is walking past here, God is seeking them. And God wants to reveal Himself to them. God wants to reveal Himself to them. So that He wants everyone to repent. Yes, that, that's the key. Everybody must repent. You know, if nobody repents, then everybody perish. Yeah, because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Now, who shall believe in Him shall not believe in God? But God did not send His Son to condemn the world. And that's the good news. God did not send His Son, Jesus Christ, to condemn the world. No. But through Him that all may be saved. All may be saved. In other words, if you want to be saved, you just obey, believe in Him. And He will save you. He's not going to... The blood. That's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yes, He's the Lord. Wow. He's the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Don't ever judge. Yes, you know, I mean, the Bible says, Just Christ is the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. The one who is, who was, who is still to come again. The Bible says, God has given all the judgment to the Son. So, Jesus Christ is the Savior and Jesus Christ is the judge. You know? Hello, brother. Can you move this on the side so people can walk past, please, there? Eh? So, so that's the, that's the thing, you know, that's the thing. So, so God is a faithful God, you know, God is a righteous God. He's just, he's just waiting for everybody to repent, you know. Once people repent, you will give them everlasting life, you know. But the good thing about you is you will never force yourself to tell you. It's not a, it's not a bullet. Yeah, it's not a bullet. It's not going to say, no, he just, he's waiting for you, you know. That is a God is long suffering and is not willing that anyone should perish for all to come to repentance. God is waiting. That's why the people say, Why Christ have not come? I mean, if he come now, if he, 
Say no, I don't want to smoke. I can say, oh, thank you. You give me the foundation to help you. You know, like uh, when people die, there's a smoking session. There's no smoking session. I know I, I have my reception, no smoking session. The smoking session is a place you have to see with fire balls, with it, and Nobody wants to go there. What does the devil have blind the minds of the people who are walking around here and all over the world? Not to receive the gospel news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we just need to change. You can say to Jesus Christ is the one to say. Is that you have one body, you cannot support your body. There's no one like you. Every one of us are unique. Amen. Good. But the Bible said the word of God is the mirror. So the, the Bible says you are filthy and you are filthy with the image of God. All you have to do right now is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. Are you willing to do that? That's your choice. Amen. Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord, as my Savior. I reject Satan, his works, his thoughts, his works, yes, and his deeds. From now on, be my Lord, be my Savior. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. I receive you, and I believe. Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for my sins. You rose again. 
Son of God, you die for my sins, forgive my sins, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I believe from now on I will live for you. Both now, both now, both now and forever. I will pray for you for the two days. This is a little bit of a from the Genesis Everything was there. So, in other words, everything we are looking at here that happens, the goodness, the devil is behind 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 the so people are trying to find out where the devil is. You never see the devil, but the devil is what the people are going to do. So it's a man. Whoever comes up with the idea, the devil is the devil. So there's nothing that can work right now in the world. You can't go anywhere. God cannot just say, oops, I do not have this whole day, everything. It's the essence of this. We know the time is giving you coming here today. We know that you're going to be here today. And so God, God make it possible for everyone of us to receive salvation. And that salvation is a free gift from God to all my time. You know? So sister, God loves you. You know, don't listen. Whatever the devil says, just rebuke the devil. The Bible says, resist him and he will free from you. I will give you a Bible, okay? Because this is the only way, you know? God communicates to us through his word. You know? Also, visions and revelations. You know? As he just carried you from, from John, the book of John, you see the book of the Lord. Okay, that's fine. So it's not just when you read the Bible, the Bible is still reading you. you know, the Bible is not the book of the world, it's the book of the book of the world. Many men who came in the past to try to stop you, they all died. 
right? So that's why when people try to apply God, they're wasting their time with that. Right? You know, even if I test me, you see. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> just on the person behind you, just wasting your time. I give you my love if you want to call. You need prayer. You know? I'm going to let you to a so you can do a call. So you have to do a call. Have you got a phone? Thank you. Hallelujah.